Hey, I'm gonna show you how to format and upload your customer data to append it to the Persona Live segmentation and then where to analyze those results. So to show you what I'm working with here, I have this customer list of anonymized donations to a nonprofit. It includes first name, last name, the address of the donor, the email of the donor, and then some metrics like how much they donated and how many donations did they visit an event. So I'm going to pin this to the Persona Live segmentation and to do that I'm going to go to append segments. I'm going to choose a customer list and we're going to upload file. Here you're going to see the file requirements in the format that we require. And I'm just going to go ahead and say that this can be a little bit sensitive so you want to make sure that your columns are correctly named and they are in the correct format. Standard is we require an address here. If you want this match at the individual level, which will give you some additional insights, uh, such as age and income, you can include first name and last name. We can also match on email if you have that, and it will help to match the process. So once you have your file template, and if, it, if you need to, you can download this file template to make sure the format is correct. You can hit next. Uh, and then you want to choose your file. So I'm going to add our anonymized donations file. Hit next. And it's going to ask us, does this list include performance metrics like sales or lifetime value? In this case, yes, it does. Uh, and we want to have that averaged across all of our segments. So we're going to include donated, the amount of donations, did they visit the black tie event in a 5K run. Uh, it's going to ask us our market base. In this case, this is a national nonprofit, but let's say we're only located uh, in New York. If we wanted to reference only the New York um, market base when uh, receiving indexes, we could do that, but we're not going to do that because this is a this is a national base that we want to reference. So we're going to put in our email after that, and it's going to give us a notification once that customer list is ready. So we got a check mark, which means we have a successfully uploaded list. I'm going to go back to append and to show you that uh, this list looks like it is processing right now. Once that is finished processing, you can go view the results in the Analyze tab. You can also, by the way, download that information back in CSV. But we're going to go to the Analyze tab and you want to go down to Customer Data and you want to choose your list, the anonymized donations. And then now we can see all of our segments that have been matched the percentage um, because it's matched the age or the, uh, the individual level, you can see some additional metrics. And uh, we can also then view the, uh, the amount donated by segment as well. If you wanna learn a little bit more about how to use the Analyze Customer tab, you can view that in the Analyze page in that video. But that's it, that's how you format and upload your customer data to begin exploring insights.